so welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm super excited. Today I'm going to make a DIY from the Dollar Tree and it's going to be a vintage farmhouse kraut cutter. I've been wanting to do something like this and I finally figured out what I wanted to do. So let me show you what you'll need in case you want to make this vintage farmhouse kraut cutter with all Dollar Tree items, okay? The first thing you're going to need is some kind of sign, and I wanted mine kind of long, so I'm repurposing this Easter sign, and I'm going to use the back of it. You could use the front of it if you wanted, but I'm just going to, it's, I think it'd be simpler to use the back, okay? Then you need four of these um, rulers that are wooden from the Dollar Tree, so you need two packs, and then you need a block of these Jenga uh, tumbling tower games and then you'll need some of this foam little pop-up squares from the Dollar Tree some of their thumbtacks I just picked up the silver and then you're going to need three of these metal rulers okay and they are from the Dollar Tree you need three of these then you're going to need some foam brushes and paint of your choice. I'm going to be using the Waverly Chalk Paint in Hazelnut. I think it will give it a really good look. You're going to need some tin snips to cut the metal rulers, and then something to cut your tacks with, a glue gun, and that is it. It's really simple. So let me get everything situated and we will start this adorable vintage farmhouse crop cut. Okay, the first thing I want to do is just pop off this rabbit's foot. And it comes off really easily and I can just take this off too. That's why I said you could just paint the front of this if you wanted, but I'm just going to stick with the back of it, okay? And then all I'm going to do is just paint this with my Waverly Chalk paint in Cashew. I use this paint so much, but I think this will give us a very good vintage look for a kraut cutter, okay? So I'm not gonna have you watch me paint this all over. I'm just going to paint the top and the sides just like that, and when I get this finished, then um, you could use the lighter Jenga blocks, or as Dollar Tree calls it, tumbling tower game. Um, but I'm going to use the darker ones because I don't want to have to paint it, and I think this will be a nice contrast if you see it at all. So I'll be back once I get this okay, painted. Okay, I have this painted while it's drying. I'm going to pull out four of these wooden uh, rulers, and I'm just going to peel this right off the top. It comes off. You could actually put this on your table if you wanted. It's so sticky and you would have a ruler on your table. Wouldn't be a long one, but it would work. So that would be a little hack. So I'm gonna peel all these off and then I'm going to paint these with the Waverly Chalk paint in hazelnut. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I have everything painted. I love how it looks. So now what I'm going to do is take some of these Jingo blocks Flip this over and just to sort of give this something to um, glue to, I'm going to make it more sturdy. I'm going to put these jingle blocks right under here. So, and I don't know that you're even going to see them, but it's just basically for stability. Then I'm going to put, I'm going to put three on each side this one down about right here, and then put them out from each other, across from each other. And I'm using the Gorilla Glue, and I find it works very nicely. Now I just want to make sure that I'm getting these where I need them. Okay, so I'm going to put one right here, and then one right here. I came up with this idea because I was looking at my mother's and this is what we're getting so far, it looks crazy, but just trust me. Um, my mother, she has 
my grandmother's kraut cutter and I, I think it's so pretty and I was wondering what I could do to make one. Well, I figured it out. Okay, then I'm going to take these. It's up to you. I'm going to put this on the outside. You can put it on the inside if you wanted. Dimensional part on the inside. And the flat part on the outside. Maybe. And I want it to stick up just a little bit at the top and just a little bit at the bottom. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just take a bead of glue, put it right down through here, just put it right like that and hold it. You could get a square if you wanted, and I'm putting my circle at the top and the circle at the bottom that was in the rulers. Now you could always use E6000 with this to make sure same principle right down through here. like that. Then I'm going to take this one put it right down through here. This is so easy but this resembles my grandmother's um, kraut cutter. I'm going to butt this one up really close. So when you do yours, make sure you butt them up nicely to one another. And you could even, as a matter of fact, glue these ends, which I think I might, on the end and then right there, and then hold it. And this is what we're getting so far. It looks like a kraut cutter. And like I said, you'll put yours closer together on that. Okay, so you take the 10 snips. Like I said, I didn't have the upper body strength, so I had my husband do it. I've never had upper body strength. I don't know why. But you put them where you want them. I'm going to put mine about seven and a half inches down, and you just cut them at an angle and then sand them, okay? So what I'm going to do to make this more realistic looking is take some of these little sticky pads and I'm going to put one right here and another one right here and I'm going to double it so that it will give it some height and make it look real. You wouldn't have to double it if you didn't want to and you could definitely cut these in two uh, you wouldn't have to use a whole one. You could just cut them in two. It would give you the same effect. Okay. Now this one, I'm just going to eyeball this to be honest. Alright. Now. Then I'm going to push this here. And by elevating that, you can see it looks like it's a real cutter. I just love this. <laughs> It's, it took me a while to figure it out, but once I figured it out, and it really didn't take that long. I'm really getting into this Dollar Tree crafting again. For a long time, my Dollar Tree just didn't have much, and I was so bummed. Like I said, my, my state has opened, but not the hair salons or anything like that. And I want these to be about a Jenga block apart. So I'm using that for a spacer. 
because it looked to me like that's about what my grandmother's was. I think this is absolutely adorable, if I have to say so myself. And you could paint it any color you want it. You could distress your um, blades. I'm not going to be distressing mine. Okay, and that's what we're getting so far. It looks like a kraut cutter. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take these thumbtacks because on my grandmother's, she has little screws. So I'm going to take this cut this flush. Okay. Try to get them really, really flush. Maggie is in there comatose. She's so funny. We took her to a pop-up pop drive-through the other night in, um, in Pensacola, and she had so much fun but it took her a while to get her sleeping schedule back. Okay, so now what I want to do is just take this, put some glue. Tweezers would be really good to put these down with. Put that right there. I guess, the, I guess these are made so that you can change your blade out, you know, your blades out, or take them out and do something with them. I guess that's what these little screws are. Maybe even use those little uh, dots to put these down with. Okay, let's take a look okay, at it. Okay guys, here's my Kraut Cutter, all Dollar Tree items. I love how it turned out. It is so pretty and it really looks like it could cut. Now, like I said, you will butt yours up closer and put some glue right in here. I didn't, but look at that. It is so pretty. It reminds me so much of my grandmother's Kraut Cutter. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll know that you want me to make more of these farmhouse Dollar Tree DIYs. And um, also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and become a member, a part of our family. And also, when you subscribe, hit your notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So if you enjoyed this video, like I said, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.